we are going to enforce the trade deals that we have, and we're going to hold people accountable. When I was Secretary of State, we actually increased American exports globally 30%. We increased them to China 50%. So I know how to really work to get new jobs and to get exports that help to create more new jobs. But you haven't done it in 30 years, in 26 years. Well, I have been a senator, Brenda, and I have been a secretary of state, and I have done a lot. one of the worst trade deals to ever happen to the manufacturing industry. You go to England, you go to Ohio, Pennsylvania, you go anywhere you want, Secretary Gordon, and you will see devastation where manufacturers down 30, 40, sometimes 50%. NAFTA is the worst trade deal maybe ever signed anywhere, but certainly ever signed in this country. And now you want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were totally in favor of it. Then you heard what I was saying, how bad it is, and you said, I can't win that debate. But you know that if you did win, you would approve that, and that would be almost as bad as NAFTA. Well, Nothing will ever top NAFTA. That, that is just not accurate. I uh, was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that. You called it the gold standard. I wrote about it. Well, you I called hope it the gold standard of trade. And you know what? You said it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. Then you heard what I was saying, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, well I know you live in your own reality, Brenda, but yeah. that is not the facts. The facts are, I did say I hoped it would be a good deal, but when it was negotiated, not. which I was not responsible for, I concluded it wasn't. I wrote about that in my book. So is it President Obama's fault? Before you even Is it President announced. Obama's fault? Look, there are different... Secretary, there, is it President Obama's there fault? Are because he's pushing it. There are different views about what's good for our country, our economy, our leadership in the world. That's why we have to look at how we can get the economy going again. That's why I said new jobs with rising incomes, investments, not in more tax cuts that would add $5 trillion to the debt, but, but in have no plan. Oh, I do. Secretary, in fact, have no I have plan. written a book about it. It's called Stronger yes. Together. You can pick it up tomorrow at a bookstore or an airport near you.